And don't come back until you learn to stop waking me up. Morning, Garfield. Morning, Squeak. Whoever invented the alarm clock should be dragged into the street and beaten. Hi again, Garfield. Hi again, Squeak. Nah, no, that's too good for him. Instead, they should make him sleep with an alarm clock nearby. Hi one more time, Garfield. Hi one more time, Squeak. I'm getting an awful lot of squeak this morning. I'll figure out what's going on after breakfast. Uh, make that after lunch. Whoa! We seem to have a mouse convention in progress. Oh well, it's not my problem. <coughs> this is my problem. Squeak! You squeak? <clears throat> Look at what's in my dish. There's nothing in your dish. My point exactly. <coughs> Please, Garfield, old pal, old friend, please be understanding. You ate my breakfast. All these mice, my cousins and uncles and nephews, they had no place else to go. <laughs> they all lived in that big house down the block that just got torn down. You ate my breakfast. I couldn't just turn them away. I couldn't just send them out into the cold, cruel snow. It's 92 degrees outside, and you still ate my breakfast. Look, Garfield, if you let us stay, we'll behave. We can help out, do things for you, <laughs> be your servants. Servants? Servants would be nice. From now on, I'd like my grapes peeled. Peeled? <laughs> peeled. And uh, take out the seeds? The uh, seeds? Oh. Ah, this is the life. But I don't think I could take any more than, oh, say, about 20, 30 years of it. <laughs> or maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Quick, everyone, hide. Hamstring. Garfield, oh. we're back. <sighs> Unfortunately. What's the matter? If John finds out the house is full of mice, he'll expect me to... Oh, got it! Oh, <gasps> there you are, Garfield. Looks like everything's been peaceful while we were away. Yeah, sure looks that way. Hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. Huh? When I'm away, I always feel secure knowing you are watching the house, Garfield. I feel good when you're away, too. I know there won't be any intruders or accidents or mice, especially mice. Nope, you're not smelling a mouse. There isn't a mouse within 20 miles of here. Get your nose fixed. All that walking around Odie and I did, I just kept thinking how good it would be to get home and just to relax in my home here. Knowing it's free from mice. Because, as you know, there's nothing that bothers me more than mice in my house. <sighs> First, something to eat. It was rough under there. I'm sick of... Oh. Maybe later we'll order in from Lasagna Palace and then... Garfield? Is that a mouse? Mouse? What mouse? In your hand, that is a mouse. Eh? <sighs> what, this? Oh, <laughs> make like you're a toy. <laughs> oh, no. This is a happy, fun kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Oh, 
It's just a kitty toy thingy, my bob. Squeak, squeak. Well, I guess it's cute. I need to get something <laughs> to eat. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Garfield said we should hide. Oh. <gasps> oh. Garfield, did you eat all my crackers? Oh, we better get out of here. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> I have mice in my cupboard! <laughs> I have mice in my silverware drawer! I even have mice in my sink! Uh, do you mind? I'm taking a bath here. Garfield! <laughs> mice everywhere. How did that happen? I had no idea. Well, I have to go water my ferns. No, you don't. Come with me. I saw this website a few weeks ago and bookmarked it. It's for a service called Rat Tater Pest. Rat Tater Pest? Pay attention. Uh, couldn't we go to one of those websites where you can order pizza delivered? Mouse problem in your house? Then why not call Rat Tater Pest? Our trained specialists will rush to your home where they will stop at nothing. <laughs> the mouse or rat hasn't lived who can defy the might of Rat Tater Pest. <laughs> they can run, they can hide like the rodents they are, but they can never get away! <laughs> Rat Tater Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. I'm not going to click. Now. Because they're expensive and getting rid of mice is your job. I mean, you are the cat around here. <laughs> you are going to get rid of these mice. Every last one of them. Uh. <laughs> I'm going out for a while. Come on, Odie. If there's a single mouse here when I get back, I'm calling in Rat Tater Pest. And I'm deducting the cost of them from my cat food budget. You won't see lasagna in this house for years. For years? The barbarian. Why doesn't he just cut off my oxygen? <laughs> guys, you gotta leave here. Guys, guys, yoo-hoo! Calling all mice! Calling all mice! Squeak! Hey, now that once his name is gone, we have the house to ourselves! No, 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 you gotta leave. All of you, right this minute, if not sooner. No way! This is our new home! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> you think we're gonna run from that? Other cats scare mice. Other cats eat mice. You gonna start eating mice, Garfield? <sighs> the very idea of it. Then it looks like we're here to stay. It's no use. It's not in my blood. What am I gonna do? I'll lose my lasagna for at least a year. John will call that horrible rat tater pest. Oh, that service thing on the internet, that terrible rat tater pest. I know. Come on, Squeak. I have to show you something. Hey, I was making a sandwich. Later, this is more important. Rattator Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. This is awful. Garfield, you wouldn't. You're right, I wouldn't. But John would and will, unless. Unless what? Unless you go along with my plan. Anything, anything. Get all the mice together. We're going to have to rehearse before John returns. Garfield, we're back. Are the mice gone yet? Okay, I guess the mice aren't gone yet. That's it! I'm calling Rat Tater Pest! You handled that so well. 
Naturally. I feel like you deserve a reward, but I have no idea what it should be. Oh, Luigi's Lasagna Palace we deliver. Good idea, Garfield. I'll call and have them deliver hot lasagna. Hey, you do that again and you'll wind up in the bag with them. Garfield, lasagna's here. Garfield! Hurry, everyone in. Thanks for everything, Garfield. Don't mention it. I hope you're happy living at Luigi's. How could we not be? All the lasagna we can eat. See ya. <laughs> All the lasagna they can eat. Garfield! Lasagna! Hmm, funny. That usually gets him here in under three seconds. Oh, Luigi! Luigi, where are you? Oh, there you are! Luigi, you have to do something! You have to call an exterminator to get rid of this mice! Never mind the mice! I need an exterminator to get rid of him! <laughs> I think I'm gonna like it here. After I send you to Abu Dhabi. Oh, you act like I overstayed my welcome. Ooh, that's impossible. You were never welcome in the first place. <laughs> no, stop. I'm too cute for this. Stop. No. find another assistant. <laughs> Just as I was getting to the fun part. <laughs> so Harry Stark and a bluebird, big fat feather deal. <gasps> Did you say a bluebird? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Forget the magic trick. It's just as well I might have wound up with two of them. Don't leave me like this, Garfield! <laughs> Sorry, pal. This lunch is not gonna be to go. I shall eat it here. Don't bother struggling. You're fine sandwich material. I'll take that. <laughs> that bird is gonna be the blue plate special. Well, 
stocked refrigerator is useful for a great many reasons. Ooh. He's a little dazed, but he'll be okay. Why am I so concerned about a bluebird? Odie, didn't you watch this show last season? The episode where I hatched those bluebird eggs? I'll refresh your memory. Flashback! Huh? I found these three eggs in a nest. They were bluebird eggs, and it looked like the mother bluebird had abandoned them. So what could I do? I sat on the eggs. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, I sat on the eggs until they hatched, and the little bluebirds, <laughs> they thought I was their mama. Now, Harry, he was kind of rotten in that episode. Uh, come to think of it, he's kind of rotten in this episode, too. Anyway, he tried to make Bluebird dinner. The mother Bluebird showed up in time to stop him, and she and her babies flew off safe and sound. Ever since then, I felt kind of, well, you know, protective about Bluebirds. No, I don't think this is one of those bluebirds I hatched. They were tiny, and that was last season. Mama! Oh, it is, it is one of them. Hi, oh, my babies. They're all grown up. <laughs> that was a rotten thing Garfield did, leaving me in this box. Garfield! Locking me in that box was the meanest thing you've done to me for 15 minutes. You should be, hey, what's with the bird? Just giving him a drink of water. Normal, why don't you make us both happy and be someplace else? I'm not leaving. I have another magic trick. <gasps> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. I love it when he says that. We're gonna make you a little nest. Garfield took that yummy bluebird inside. It's gotta be a way in. Oh, hiya, Harry. Hiya, Normal. Sorry about the news. What news? Uh, about the bluebird. I hear he's real cute. Cuter than you, even. <laughs> no one's cuter than me. <laughs> Out here, maybe. But sorry, in that house right now, that bluebird is tastier, uh, cuter. Well, you might be right. What do I do? Well, if you get it out of that house, I could maybe be persuaded to take care of it. I mean, I'd give it a good home. Wait, right here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Shh, Odie. Be very quiet so we don't wake up the little bluebird. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh-huh. That's normal. You are once again the cutest creature in that house. Naturally. Uh, sorry, Lunch. You ain't going anywhere. Odie, if you're gonna wake me up like that, it better be extremely important. That is extremely important. Yeah. Normal. What did you do with my bluebird friend? I gave him to Harry. Don't worry. Harry said he's gonna give him a good home. Yeah, right. In his stomach. Uh, I've got to find him before it's too late. Oh, Odie. I did an awful thing. Do you think Garfield will ever forgive me? I don't blame him. I wouldn't forgive me either. Odie, you think
think that nose of yours could sniff out which way Harry went with the bird? If you think you're going to share my lunch, think again. You give that bird back, Harry! <laughs> or what? What are you going to do? Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Odie, what are we going to do? Bark all you like, dog. It won't interfere with my meal. Oh, it's no use. I'm probably too late. I know that bark. <laughs> Unhand that bird, Harry. Who's gonna make me? Yeah. You can't beat me. You're out of shape, Garfield. Yeah, eating 10 pounds of pasta a day will do that to you. And now, it's supper time. Whoa! 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 Get out! Get away from me! I'll never chase another bluebird again! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Hey! <laughs> okay, Garfield, get it over with. Mail me to Abu Dhabi. I did something rotten. Yes, you did, Nermal. But you also tried to save my friend the bluebird. So, I'm not going to mail you to Abu Dhabi. You're not? <laughs> Here, send this to Greenland. It's not quite as far as Abu Dhabi. A couple weeks without Nermal always makes me happy. And you know what makes me even happier? That. Bluebirds in formation. Bye.
I hate to interrupt your dream. Ah. Well, no, I don't. But how am I supposed to watch TV with you sleeping on a remote? Ah. <gasps> it's time for my favorite show. Are you smarter than lasagna? Ah. I'm going to give you a two on this. I think you need to work on your poise and your coordination. And while you're at it, see what you can do about that tongue. the long face. I know how to cheer you up. I'll throw the stick and you fetch it. How about that, boy? Uh -uh. Odie doesn't want to fetch the stick? Odie always wants to fetch the stick. He's been acting like that all day. I'd say it's because he finally realized how dumb he was, but he's not smart enough to know that. this water pistol. <gasps> Didn't he realize it's filled with strawberry lemonade? Hmm. Hmm. I need some more sugar. Hey, Odie. I've got a little treat for you. Here's a yummy bone for my little dog. He doesn't want to fetch the stick? He doesn't want a bone? Maybe I should take him to Liz for a checkup. Pupster, open those doggy eyes of yours. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. You were thrashing around in your sleep. I thought you were having a bad dream. Uh-uh. 
You're dreaming a good dream? Uh-huh. About food. Uh-uh. Were there any other things worth dreaming about? Oh, okay, what was it? <laughs> You're dreaming about being a great superhero and saving people in distress? Yeah. Especially cute ladies in distress? <laughs> yeah. Well, personally, I prefer dreaming about food. I think I'll uh, dream up some Mugu Gai Pan. Buddy, <laughs> is it okay if I tell you something? You promise you won't take it the wrong way? Oh, Good. Dogs don't fly, you got that? Dogs do not fly. Stop with these daydreams. If you wanted to fly, you should have had yourself born as a bird. <gasps> ah, forget the nap. I'm gonna go down to Vito's for free pizza he doesn't know he's giving out today. <laughs> you can't come this way, cat. We're pouring asphalt and repaving here. Go around to the next block. The next block? Doesn't that man know the shortest route between me and the pizza is a straight line? I'll just walk on the other side of the street. I don't know what it is with that dog. He just does one dumb thing after another. <gasps> huh? Then again, he never got his feet stuck in freshly poured asphalt. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little problem here. Make that a big problem. Help! Somebody help! 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 And double help! I'm gonna be flatter than John's last souffle! So, uh, what do you think, Sam? You wanna go bowling after work? Stop! Help! Stop! 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 Help! Sam, would you speak up? Some cat is howling out here or something. Huh? <laughs> Dogs don't fly, you got that? Now stop with these daydreams. Thanks for trying to save me, but now there are two of us about to become animal pancakes. Goodbye, whoever you are. Wow, did you see that? That the flying dog saved them from the steamroller. You're nuts. Dogs can't fly. That one did, just like a superhero. Huh? Did you see? I mean, I thought that the one thing and then... Oh, never mind. <sighs> hey, Odie. I had the strangest dream. I dreamed earlier today that you were flying. You were flying and you rescued me and a cute girl dog just like a superhero. <laughs> Silly dream, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess as long as it was a dream, I can go back to sleep. 
Good night, Odie. An unspeakable horror could be walking right through that door any second. Whoa! Hey, look what I have! An accordion! <gasps> An accordion? While I was visiting my folks, I found this up in the attic. My old accordion! Please don't tell me you're gonna see if you can still play it. And I thought I'd see if I could still play it. <sighs> I'm doomed. Maybe I can still make a break for the door. I'll hide out in another state. No, another continent. Another planet. Another galaxy. They heard the accordion. good in my day. <laughs> what day was that? Because it's certainly not today. <laughs> I wonder what would be a good place to practice. How about Ecuador? It's lovely this time of year. <laughs> I wonder if it bothered Squeak as much as it bothered me. Yep, he looks pretty bothered. Make it stop, Garfield. Make it stop. I wish I could. Researchers have discovered that the accordion is the second most hated musical instrument in the world. Second? What? You never heard of bagpipes? All right. It sounds like John's practicing, if you can call that practicing, in the den of all places. Why do people play that thing? Beats me. You gotta be totally without brains to like an accordion. <laughs> Your Honor, there's my proof. Garfield, what are we gonna do? Wait, I have an idea. Oh, Odie, this is great! I'm gonna practice and practice until I get real good at this. Huh? Hey, accordion boy! You have a mouse in your house! What are you gonna do about it? A mouse! There's a mouse in the house again! It's the same one as always. Get him, Odie! Catch that mouse! <laughs> My timing is perfect. In you go. So much for the accordion. Stop before lunch, Percy. Where do you want to go? Uh, anywhere. Uh, the fragrant scent of garbage always makes me hungry. Hey, looks like someone threw away a perfectly good accordion. There's food on the 
a truck. I used to play one of these. I gave it up because hauling trash seemed uh, like a more respectable job. Oh, no. You're not bringing that thing aboard my garbage truck. That mouse that got away. He looked a lot like the mouse Garfield got rid of last week. And the one he got rid of the week before that. And the one he got rid of... Hody! My accordion! I left it right here, and it's gone. Huh? <gasps> oh, where could it have disappeared to? Yes? I believe this is yours. Don't throw that thing away again. We're not allowed to accept hazardous materials. I don't understand this for a minute. Do you hear that squeak? I don't hear anything. Yes, and isn't it beautiful? I think I'll go take a nap. <sighs> After that run, I could use one too. <sighs> oh boy, this is gonna feel so good. No more accordion. I'll serenade you to sleep, Garfield. <laughs> Garfield! Are you all right, Garfield? Oh, what am I gonna do? Maybe I should call the paramedics or a vet! Wait! They say music has healing powers. I'll play him a tune on the accordion. I'm in enough pain. That's better. But you probably still need first aid. I'll go get the kit. I have to get this, this, this thing out of here. I'll find some place for it where it'll never be seen again. Where did Garfield go? And where is my accordion? I have to find Garfield and I have to find my accordion. <laughs> Maybe I could ship it to some foreign country. Oh no. That's how wars get started. I know what I'll do with it. Farewell forever, accordion. My conscience says it's wrong, but my ears are saying, Shut up. You don't have to listen to that contraption. Hey, Cap. Didn't you read the sign? Warning, illegal to dump toxic waste, dangerous chemicals, radioactive isotopes, poisonous substances, and especially accordions. You wanna make the fish sick? I see your point. I'll find someplace else to get rid of it. Getting rid of something is making it look like it's something you want. Oh, look at the lovely, valuable present I got. Now to go home and enjoy the sound of no accordion music. Ah! Listen, Cat, I'm desperate. I'm needing in two weeks, but there are some things even I won't take. disappears, okay. and now Odie hasn't been around for hours. I wonder what he's doing, where he is.
No, I couldn't be. <laughs> it's just a bad dream, that's all. I just gotta get some more sleep. That's it! That's the voice of John's accordion. I know it anywhere. It's coming for me. It's saying you tried to do away with me. No? There's nothing in there? It's just my imagination. I'll see for myself and then I'll be able to go back to sleep. It's coming for me. No, no, I buried you. I know I did. What's that? Hody, it's you. And my accordion. And Garfield. It was the accordion that did this. It attacked me. Oh. Come on, Garfield. We'd better get you to the vet. Cheer up. I heard the vet say you'll be all right in a couple of weeks. It's not why I'm depressed. I'm depressed because John got his accordion back. I am so doomed. Relax, Goff. I also heard John say that it won't play anymore. Something about it being full of dirt or something. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard. Garfield, I have to apologize. I was going to entertain you with a little accordion solo, but my accordion seems to have breathed its last. I hope so. I gave it a decent burial. And when I went shopping for a new one, they were way too expensive. I guess I'll just have to do without. But you're in luck. They were having a sale. No. Oh, it can't be. It can't. Stop! No, no. I'd rather have the accordion back. Please, stop! did have a taste for the really serious intellectual programming. We'll be back with more of Say a Kind of Free and we hit you with a lemon ring pie after these news headlines. Today is the first day of the city's new dog licensing law. Any dog not wearing a license will be presumed a stray and taken to the dog pound. Oh, I almost forgot about that. I got Odie a license and I have to put it on him. In other news, traffic is stalled on the coast highway due to an accident. Workers said cars were blocked when a collision knocked down a large elm tree. I know you don't like it, but it's for your own good. If they catch you without it, they'll haul you off to the pound. Oh, that would be just awful. No, even I'm not that rotten. There. Now, I'm going back to my favorite show, Say a Kind of Tree, and we'll hit you with a lemon meringue pie. Just in a sense of good taste. No. Hope I'm not missing much. <sighs> I gotta get down here where I can just get some. Ah, oh, that feels good. No, I don't want to throw the stick. Ah. <laughs> 
No, I don't want to throw the ball. In fact, I want to throw the ball even less than I wanted to throw the stick. No, I don't want to throw the doggy toy. As hard as it may be to believe, I want to throw the doggy toy even less than I wanted to throw the stick or the ball. But you know what I do want to throw? You had to ask. Odie's uh, oh, license came off. He's out there where they grab dogs that don't have licenses and take them to the pound. Not my problem. <laughs> License. You won't get away from me, dog. Hey, watch it. Hey. Sorry, Pooch, but it's the law. Oh, I'm not asleep. Why can't I sleep? It can't be because I feel guilty about Odie out there without his dog license. It's not my fault it fell off when I threw him out the window. So why can't I sleep? Well, if I can't sleep, I might as well eat. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is so much. Oh, this is good. Oh, 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 it hurts. Oh, oh, can't get my breath. <laughs> my room. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fazblatt. I checked with the judges, and they say mushroom omelet is not the name of a tree, so we cannot hit you with a lemon meringue pie. But now it's time for our home game, where one lucky viewer will get to play Say a Kind of Tree, and we hit you with a lemon meringue pie. Home game? You mean someone will be hit with a lemon meringue pie just for saying, oh, I don't know, spruce? I'll get it. Uh, yes? Oh, great. You finally won something and it's that. I'll get dinner on the table. Hmm. Do you call Odie? Oh, Odie. Well, no Odie, let's eat. Oh, where's Odie? I'm not serving dinner until Odie is at the table. But that's not fair. I'm here. I'm hungry. I'm... I'm serious, Garfield. No dinner until Odie is at the table. And now go out and find him. But I'm... I'm... Ah! I'm going to find him. Odie. Odie, yahoo. Odie. 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 Attention, brainless mutt. If you're looking for your dog, I saw him get taken off to the pound. I was afraid of that. Well, this is it. I'm actually walking into a building full of dogs. Voluntarily. Sorry, cat. You see that sign? That means no cats allowed. Lucky, Mom. Someone threw away a perfectly good pussy cat. <laughs> they probably... 
Probably thought he was too fat. <coughs> hey, you're not exactly supermodel material yourself, lady. <laughs> All right. I didn't want to resort to this, but it may be the only way to get this license back on Odie. Okay, let's see if I can pass for a dog. Arf, arf, woof, woof. Nah. I don't look stupid enough. Man, how do dogs do this stupid stuff all day? Oh, wow. Arsh. Yip, 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 yip. Bark, yip, bark. Isn't it a little late to be going out looking for strays? I need one more catch to make my quota for today, Pete. Ahem. <clears throat> bark, bark. Stray dog with no license. Woof and double woof. <laughs> gotcha. <clears throat> You got me. Okay, doggy, in here with ya. <laughs> Your situation is not hopeless, Odie. Huh? By day, he looks like an ordinary, brainless, too dumb to do anything useful dog. But then, when there's trouble, he instantly transforms himself into Super Garfield, 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 Garfield. Whoa, hey, stop. Put that tongue back where you found it. No, stop. Stop or I'll leave you here, Odie. Better. Now then, you'll need this to get out. How will I get out? Leave it to me. First, you make some noise. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's all the racket? What's... Hey, he has a license on. Let me get a better look at that. Sean Arbuckle. And there's an address. I was sure you didn't have one when I picked you <gasps> up. Now, I better get you back to Mr. Arbuckle right away and apologize. Let me out. I shouldn't be in here. Hello? <laughs> meow. Meow, meow. See you later, Zal. Meow, meow, meow. Meow. A cat? How did a cat get in here? You shouldn't be in here, cat. True. Open the door and let me out. I'm gonna open the door and let you out. Just as soon as Al gets back. <coughs> he has the only key. Man, you can't leave me here like some... some dog. I'm not a dog. <coughs> Dogs are ugly. Dogs are disgusting. <laughs> Stupid, worthless creatures. Dogs are idiots. <laughs> Dogs are all over the place. They're all around me. They're, they're, I, I didn't mean what I said. I was talking about other dogs. You know, I, uh, I love dogs. In fact, I am a dog. See? A uh, dog. <laughs> Bow wow. Rough, rough, rough. You're not buying this for a second, are you? Look, I'd like to take this opportunity to make a sincere apology. I'm really sorry about this, Mr. Albuckle. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for bringing my dog home. So that's where you were, Odie. Which brings us to the next question. Where's Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, knowing him, he's probably out somewhere having a wonderful time. Ouch! Help! Oh, help! Oh. <laughs> 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 